Our scenario begins one ordinary day on the island of La Palma itself. No one knows it yet, but it's just five days before disaster will strike. Seismic monitoring will register a sudden increase in activity. An event that no one can ignore. La Palma's La Cumbre Vieja is erupting once more. In one instant, a whole section of the island is dislodged. Breaking up as it falls, an entire mountainside plunges into the sea at the speed of an express train. We see the landslide first generating an enormous wave. That wave could be as much as a kilometre high. In terms of the height, you're talking about more than two Empire State buildings on top of one another, or three of London's shard piled on top of one another. This is an immense mass of water. Not just vast, but fast. Travelling at up to 800 miles an hour, the giant wave surges out in all directions. In less than 10 minutes, the wave makes landfall. I don't think there's any doubt that, uh, however big the collapse of the west flank of the Cumbre Vieja, the initial wave will be very catastrophic for the islands themselves. So you're talking about thousands of people dead and, and destruction on a scale that we've never seen in this part of the world before. With less than 10 minutes to react, it's hard to see many of the two and a half million locals and visitors to the Canary Islands escaping with their lives. But even as the wave devastates neighboring islands, La Palma continues to erupt. The mountain of La Cumbre Vieja is still collapsing, releasing yet more energy into the sea. Within 20 or 30 minutes, all of the waves have spread out from La Palma and they've started this long journey out across the Atlantic Ocean. there's been no time to raise the alarm. Within 60 minutes, 90 meter waves will strike the coast of West Africa. Over the following hours, these waves will devastate the coastlines of Europe. <laughs> 